Hey everybody, my name is TSW and in this video I'm going to show you how to take the config files for add-ons and push them over to a brand new WoW installation. This will also be applicable if you've downloaded a custom UI and you want to push that over to your existing um, WoW directory as well as if you want to have the same UI on multiple characters on the same account or different characters on a different account. I'll show you how to do all of it and probably a few extra bits and bobs as I go in this video. If you enjoyed the video, thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff. This video suggestion was submitted by Alex on my live stream, so thanks Alex, and I hope you enjoy the video. So, what I've done is downloaded the the compressed folder, uh, the compressed file from the Gummy project. I've extracted it already, and in here we see a very small looking WoW directory with not a huge amount of information whereas on the left this is the the like my wow folder from eight from forever ago okay so what we want to do is first of all get a bit of get a bit of a file structure going on in this uh, brand new wow installation so for example inside the wtf folder we don't have a lot going on so in order to uh, get some files and folders created in here, the WTF folder being one of the most important areas, we're going to launch the game and log in. The audio will be a little bit loud, so let me just make that uh, a bit less. Okay, so I'm going to log in with my account name and I'm going to obviously log in with my password. So the game will take my account name it will also know I'm playing on the Skull Crusher Alliance realm. It will also know that I'm logging on to the character Sally. And we are done. We've saved quite a lot of time because we can now go into our WTF folder. We can go into our account folder. Yes, we logged on to an account. We logged on to the account called TSW. Good. We logged on to the Skull Crusher server. We logged on to a character called Sally. Great. So let's back it up a little bit and go back to our our starting point, if you like. So let's find the WTF folder on our old installation. And we see a config.wtf. We go to the same place on the right hand side here. Config.wtf. This has a lot of information, whether it be if you're playing in full screen mode, um, what, uh, you know, how many cores your computer's using, uh, the graphic settings, etc. So we're just going to copy and replace. Easy. So let's jump into the account folder and let's match it on the left hand side. And now we are on uh, the account list. So let's find the account with all the information that I want to copy from on the left and where I want to put the information on the right. So we have saved variables on the right, the, the fresh install, and we don't have a lot going on here, just the Blizzard combat log. So let's have a look in our old um, directory. We see a lot of stuff going on. So we want all this information. Let's drag it over and replace Blizzard combat log. So now we have lots of stuff going on and it's mirrored across. Lovely. And we can see we also have some cache and stuff here. Uh, I'm going to just pay, uh, drag all this over as well. Some of this stuff is repeated, um, but basically all the files here under the account name you want to send over. So let's go into the server file, skull crusher, the server file, Hellfire 2 Progressive. Hopefully you won't have so many servers like I do. It's a very um, cluttered installation. So then we are at the character folder, jump into the Sally folder. Let's jump into the TSW folder. And here we have uh, some more information. Gonna take all of these files, send them over and replace. Lovely. We also have the saved variable folder, which is looking almost empty versus looking almost full. Let's take that over as well and replace Blizzard Time Manager or whatever it was. So we're good. So this is Sally sorted on the Skull Crusher realm on the account TSW. Now, I have an alt on the Skull Crusher server. 
and I want to have the same config. So what I do is control C, control V, and I rename this character folder to my alt name. So hit rating, great. So, and that, so that's how you uh, get the same settings on different characters on the same account on the same server, okay? Now, if I wanted to have the same settings on a different account, I could go under the account and have a different account here. So I could do a copy of this account, paste, and call this new account, okay? And this has all the same information, but I would need to change the server if I'm playing on a new server. So this needs to be the server name. This needs to be the account name. I hope that that point has been put across. And obviously, uh, if you're playing on a, on a character, this needs to be character name. Okay, cool. So let's jump back to WTF. Actually, let's jump back once f f further to our main directory. Let's go back. Dun, 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 dun. Here we are. Cool, so we are done with WTF. Lovely. So that's the config side sorted, but we actually need the add-ons themselves. So let's go into interface. Let's go into add-ons. Ugh, all we have are the Blizzard ones. Okay, that's cool, but we want some more. So let's match the same place on the left-hand side. Interface, add-ons. Here we go, lots of add-ons. Okay, cool. So let's jump back once on both and just simply drag and drop the add-on folder. Gonna take them all across, as well as ask if I want to overwrite the existing Blizzard add-ons. Now, this is great if you're wanting to troubleshoot potential problems if you're having uh, issues when playing WoW, you can skip the files and just sit with the old ones or you can replace them. I don't have problems so I can just replace them. But if you are having problems with, you know, combat log or whatever, you can try just keeping the, uh, the new ones and not overwriting them with the old ones. And that's about it. So let's launch the game and see if it worked. So it's got our old um, account name. Oh, oh, sorry. One thing I should mention also is if you are um, doing this, make sure that the realm list is always up to date for the uh, private server that you're trying to access. So if I'm wanting to log into the Gummy project, Burning Crusade, this is obviously the realm list for that. Make sure the realm list is obviously um, correct for the project that you're trying to log into. So I'm logging on to the TSW account. So that is, let, let's go step by step. So I'm in the account, the account name is TSW, great. So I'm logging in. I'm going into the Skull Crusher Alliance server. Skull Crusher Alliance realm, great. I'm logging on to the character Sally. You can see the add-on folder with all the different ticks and unticks, great. Logging in, so this is Sally on this server and it's going to be loading up the saved variables and the binds and the key layouts. Great. And here we are in game. So straight away, um, we're going to notice a couple of problems. So let's just find a mob and charge. We have our class timers in the middle of our screen. This isn't ideal. This is because when we go to profile, it, um, it's loading Sally Skull Crusher, when in fact we want it to load a different profile, Hel uh, TSW Hellfire 2, and all of a sudden we have a much better um, config for that add-on. The same for grid, and you'll have to do this on a add-on by add-on basis. So let's select an actual profile here, and the same for uh, scrolling combat text. Let's select the profile and let's go to, I don't know which is the best one here. Let's do this one. Okay, and that's about it. Um, this mini map uh, button bag thing often just goes into a crazy position and it will find its way home. You can see that recount has the information from before you see that we have Leotherus the blind data from our kill, which is nice. And we can see that things are working quite nicely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Good stuff.
So that's been the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or concerns, let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, please give, give it a thumbs up. If you want to stick around for more videos, feel free to subscribe. If you have any alternative um, suggestions for videos in the future, please let me know in the comments or just talk to me in any way you, you can. Uh, again, this was a submitted a video topic or idea from Alex in the stream. So thank you for that. I thought it was definitely a, an interesting video to make. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.